Hi, my name is Adrian Fortuna. I'm the founder and CEO of Pentestools.com and now I'm going to introduce you the Pentest Robots. This is a pretty big feature that we've been working at for the past couple of months and it comes to bring powerful automation capabilities to Pentestools.com. During this presentation there will be the first part where we will discuss the concept and in the second part we will do a, a demo of the feature to actually see how it works. So without any further ado, let's uh, jump into the presentation. So what we are proposing here, it's a solution to automate about 80% of your pen testing flow so you can get more time to focus on what matters during your engagement. But before that, let me give you a quick background about pentesttools.com. We are a web-based platform for penetration testing and vulnerability assessment. And uh, you will see there that we have uh, a lot of uh, tools, about 20 tools available, grouped into these categories. Information gathering, web application testing, infrastructure testing, and uh, some exploit helpers. Besides the tools, we also have some very interesting features like attack surface mapping, vulnerability management capabilities, advanced reporting. All these can be done through API. And now we have added automation on top of that. Let's see why was this necessary. So the current state of pen testing, the way we see it right now, is uh, described in this uh, picture. So imagine that uh, your customer has hired you to do a pen test and you have a limited time frame for, uh, for this engagement. What we have uh, seen that most of the pen testers spend a pretty significant amount of this time doing repetitive work. Uh, basically doing uh, reconnaissance, vulnerability identification, uh, running scanners, managing them to ensure that they have finished and they have covered all the attack space, managing re uh, large results and so on. Uh, this work is necessary, but we believe that uh, it can be automated. And because of this, there is little space left for the creative work, which actually brings much more value to the customer than the repetitive work. Among this creative work, uh, it's uh, discovering logic flows, ar architecture flows, finding custom attack vectors, chaining vulnerabilities and exploits, post-exploitation, and so on. So because of this, the customer is left with some missing value here. And what we propose, we propose that um, much of the repetitive work, about 80%, to be passed to an automated tool, which we call a pen test robot. And this will leave much more space for the human to perform creative work, which will actually generate much more value to our customers. So uh, what are these pen test robots? They are actually software robots or bots which orchestrate the tools from pentestools.com, from our platform. Uh, what you can see here is the Robot Design Studio, which is um, a place where you can design your robots. You can see here the tool blocks, which uh, there are every, every tool from our platform, you can see it here. And you can drag, uh, drag and drop on the right to create flows that mimic your uh, testing uh, scenarios. In this example here, the, uh, the TCP port scanner is run against the input target and for each open port, uh, the filter checks if uh, the discovered service contains the string HTTP. Uh, this can be for any port, 8081, 443 and so on. And for each port that matches, it runs the website scanner. You can see that this type of behavior cannot be easily done with, uh, with a uh, standard vulnerability scanner without uh, doing any scripting or programming. So uh, this uh, visual flow here is translated into a script which is run on our servers and um, actually calls each tool in this order and applies the, um, the conditions. At the end, an aggregated report is produced and uh, you can see that this is um, much like uh, an RPA, the robotic process automation, but we did not use any external RPA solution. Uh, this is uh, an in-house built solution to design these uh, testing flows. So the robots work with two types of blocks. There are tool blocks and filter blocks. The tool blocks get some input and produce some output. For instance, the find subdomains 
uh, gets an input as a domain name and produces a list of subdomains. The TCP port scanner gets the input uh, an IP address or a host name and produces a tuple of open ports and services. And uh, there is the filter block uh, which uh, gets some uh, data and uh, applies the conditions. You can see you can apply open port service technology and so on. There are a lot of conditions and they produce a set of data which matches uh, this filter. Uh, here are some uh, sample uh, robots. Um, this is the recon robot. Let's uh, read it from uh, top down. What it does, it uh, runs find subdomains on the target domain, runs port scanner on each subdomain and then for each port, for each subdomain, uh, checks if the open port, uh, the, the service running contains the string HTTP and uh, if it does, then it runs website recon on, uh, on all those ports. So as a result, you will get a full view of the attack surface of the target organization with the, all the ports and for each web port also you get screenshot and uh, the technologies running there. You will see this in a demo shortly. Another sample robot is uh, Web Login Brute Forcer. What it does, it scans also for TCP ports and for each uh, web port it's run, it runs the URL fuzzer which is a tool meant to discover hidden files and directories. And if any of the found URLs contains slash admin, slash login, slash sign in and so on, it runs the password auditor tool, which automatically tries to discover weak usernames and passwords. So this can be easily used against a predefined um, list of IP addresses to see if uh, at some point anybody has uh, uh, configured a weak password there and it will uh, alert if this is found. Uh, another one is the full website scanner. It's uh, similar to what we have uh, seen uh, at the beginning. And you can see that you have the capability to, to let your imagination flow. So you can design which uh, testing flows you want with this, uh, with this tool. So why not use a vulnerability scanner? A, a typical vulnerability scanner actually runs a single predefined testing flow and it cannot be easily modified. And this, because of this is very noisy. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the robot, the pen test robot, orchestrates multiple tools, can be vulnerability scanners or port scanners or fuzzers and so on. And uh, it can chain them into a custom testing flow. And because of this, it uh, can also perform very targeted testing. But why not automate uh, the whole process? We believe that a good pen tester can never be replaced by a robot, actually because some actions cannot be automated. Like deciding which data is important, how could a machine do that if it uh, does not have any previous knowledge about the, the, the data? Or finding logic flows, or um, knowing when to stop or when to push further. This is very into, uh, very important during a pen test. So uh, we have designed these pen test robots uh, both for experienced pen testers, but also for junior pen testers. Uh, they both get to save time and uh, get repeatable and consistent results and increase productivity. Also for security consultants and managed security service providers. Right now, it's demo time. Let's see how it works. So, uh, this is pentesttools.com. I will just log in into the application. This is the dashboard and I will go to the robots section in automation here. And uh, you can see that um, there are uh, a couple of uh, predefined uh, robots here and uh, we will do a new robot. We will do the uh, recon scenario uh, that we have um, seen previously. So um, let's try uh, find subdomains first and uh, TCP port scanner and uh, if uh, service contains HTTP we could we could do this uh, more interesting um, we could do if open port is 80 or open port is for free for instance or add some other ports 
but uh, the simplest, uh, simpler approach is actually to check if any of the services contains the string HTTP because uh, the target may run a service on a non-standard port. So this should work and uh, we'll add also a website recon here and I will uh, configure the options to um, to deconfigure some some options here so it will uh, run much faster as opposed to the full options and also the, the TCP port scanner I will disable detecting service version so um, I will name this uh, my recon okay you can see it here and um, in order to use it we will have to add a target here I will add uh, redbull.com this is a domain name and I'm choosing it because it has a public bug bounty program and it allows uh, to be target to be tested all the subdomains so uh, they shouldn't bother if uh, we do a simple recon here I will start and uh, you can see here uh, that uh, this is the pentest, uh, this is the robot tool which has started find subdomains. If we click on it, uh, here is the timeline. You can see that uh, the find subdomains has finished, it has found 58 subdomains, and right now it's running the TCP port scanner. Um, you can see here the results, but um, more of that, if we go to scans, I will open this in a new tab. These are grouped under Pentest Robot and you can see uh, which, uh, which ones are uh, running and uh, waiting at this moment. It actually seems that the TCP port scan has uh, finished. What's running right now? So some website recon. It's left uh, running. At yeah, this is finished. And this will finish also. No, it's starting some others. Okay. So you can see that um, the, there's a lot of activity here. So the uh, the robot is actually doing a lot of stuff. Uh, let's go back to the timeline. You can see the, the scan started here. And um, the, the results, we will, uh, they will be populated into this uh, attack surface when the, whole, um, when the whole scan is finished. Okay, so you can see there, uh, there is one more left. And that one is finished and uh, yeah, the robot itself has, uh, has finished running. You can see this here. And um, in the output of the robot, you can see the find subdomain results. This is the subdomain discovered. These are the ports open for each, for each subdomain. And uh, here are the results for each target. The, uh, all this, as I said, can be very easily viewed in this uh, attack surface area that we have. This is a feature of ours which uh, aggregates all the results from all the scans uh, to be very easily viewed. You can see the IP addresses, host names, ports, protocols and so on. And if you want to better screen the, see the screenshot, you just click on it and um, you can have a visual inspect, an inspectation of, um, of the attack surface of the target. Okay, you can see various uh, web interfaces. So, uh, so as a result, you saw that uh, we have just uh, configured in a few clicks a robot, which uh, actually has uh, done a lot of work for us and uh, has produced, uh, we say, uh, a uh, very useful and uh, interesting uh, result. I invite you to test uh, this new feature and um, the predefined robots that we have. Uh, we will um, add some more uh, as long as the um, feature is developed. 
this is it. I hope you found uh, our Pentest robots uh, interesting and uh, applicable for your use case. So uh, just uh, go and check it out. Thank you again and uh, stay safe. Goodbye.